Oh, that is a lot. Hey guys, I'm Tom and Tech Chap, and this, well, that and that, is the new KEF LSX2 wireless hi-fi system, and it sounds a bit good. What? Think of them as fancy, high-end, compact wireless speakers that are just as at home on the desktop with your games, your movies, or even your work, as they are as bookshelf speakers for music, or even a punchy setup for your TV and gaming. So while these do look and sound fantastic, are they actually worth the £1,200 or $1,400 price tag? And are they good enough to replace my current sound system? Well, firstly, a big thank you to Kef for sending these LSX2s out for me to have a play with. Also, Kef are very kindly sponsoring this video, but as always, all opinions are my own. I can say what I want. And also, if you do fancy checking this out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below. Now, if you're an audiophile of any kind, chances are you already know about Kef. They're UK-based, they've won tons of awards, and they're actually celebrating being in business for 60 years. Also, you know it's a big deal when your dad gets excited that you get to test these out. And essentially, Kef's approach to their acoustic engineering is about maintaining purity and authenticity of the original track with as little processing as possible, so there was definitely a strong pedigree behind these. Now, you may remember back in 2018, we had the original LSX Mark 1s, which actually won a ton of awards for the design, sound, and also the price. These LSX2s are a little bit more expensive, but also they're a bit better and, you know, inflation. But like the originals, these new LSX2s are an active all-in-one system, meaning no separate amps are required. And there is plenty of sound to fill a mid-sized living room or even my converted garage studio. I know what you're thinking, Tom, put that volume right up and do some donuts in Forza Horizon 5. I know, I'm way ahead of you, here we go. That is insane. Also remember that this is only being picked up by my lapel mic, which is not really meant for high-end audio recordings. So to experience this properly, get yourself down to a shop and have a play with it. This is not gonna really come across authentically over a YouTube video. For your music, you can stream from Spotify, Amazon Music, Tidal, Deezer, and others via AirPlay 2, Chromecast, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, or even from your NAS drive. And all major high-res audio formats are supported, along with DSD-256 and also MQA decoding. They work with your TV or media receiver via HDMI arc or optical, or with a turntable or basically anything else via the aux port. And you could also connect to your laptop via USB-C. If you've got really deep pockets and you just want to go nuts, you can uh, pair these with a KEF subwoofer or even more KEF speakers for a multi-room setup. You're not getting additional channels, so you can't turn this into like a 5.1 system or anything, but you can have multi-room supports, uh, but that will obviously cost a bit more. And being what they call bookshelf speakers, they're designed to go on stands, tables, or desks, anywhere but the floor, basically. And depending on where you do use them, Kef sells a desk stand, a wall mount, all these stylish floor stands, which are £320 for a pair. But let's talk about the upgrades. And first off, we have the improved W2 wireless streaming platform, which Kef says brings more connectivity options along with a more balanced sound. Then there's the new high fidelity stereo sound that supports audio files up to PCM 24-bit 384 kHz, which should mean a more accurate and true to life sound. Also, everything is fine-tuned with Kef's completely reworked music integrity engine, which is within their DSP algorithm the unique driver array returns, which Kef reckon lets you hear every detail in a song or soundtrack, no matter where you're sitting in a room. I tell you what though, it is refreshing just how simple these are to set up. It really is plug and play. Simply plug in the power and any other source inputs or a network cable into the primary speaker, which goes on the right side of your setup, then download the Kef Connect app, and it should detect the LSX2, and from there you can link it to your Wi-Fi. And that is pretty much it. It automatically connected to my second speaker wirelessly, although these do come with a bundle LAN cable if you want to connect them together physically, which you might want to do if you want that full 24-bit 384 kHz playback. And also you'll need to connect the primary speaker via a network cable to your router or switch as well, because in wireless mode, which is how I have this set up here, playback actually drops down to 24-bit 96 kHz, which is still technically high-res audio. 
Although one downside of the LSX2s is that we only get the older HDMI ARC standard, not eARC, which you'd find on more modern speaker systems, sound bars, TVs. It's a bit more of a sort of uh, entertainment standard, if you will, but that does unlock Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. They're not gonna give you that more immersive surround sound as you might get from other options. So that's worth bearing in mind, but then it's not something you'd necessarily expect from a pair of bookshelf speakers like these. Now the Kef Connect app is very simple to use. It's available on both iOS and Android. And this is where you'll spend quite a bit of time actually, because firstly, there is no input or source button on the remote, which actually another complaint, I guess, is that it's a bit plasticky. It's not the most premium thing. I don't know why there isn't a source button on here because these will not automatically change based on different inputs. So if you plug your PlayStation or turn it on, or you know, you play a game or something and you've got it set to your Spotify, it's not gonna automatically change input. So you will have to open up your phone and change it within the app, which is a bit annoying. But still, the app is incredibly easy to use and you can set up and personalize your listening settings. You can link to your music streaming services, radio stations, podcasts, all that good stuff. You've also got your EQ controls, so you can actually configure the sound based on the room size and your speaker placements. And as I say, you can also change the inputs here. What do you think of this design though? It's not worlds apart from the original LSX-1s actually, but I think they're a stunning piece. And actually I've just enjoyed having them around the studio as a sort of backdrop because they're just a nice bit of furniture. The clean and unfussy design fits in anywhere. And I really like the contrasting base port and central tweeter cover. So you've got five colors or statement finishes as Kef likes to call them. Uh, mineral white like I have here, then there's lava red, cobalt blue and carbon black with the latter two getting Danish designed quadrat textile sides. I'm sure I said that wrong. And I also quite like this special edition one called the Sound Wave by Terence Conran edition, which is a collaboration with the legendary British designer and one of his final works. Okay, enough waffling. Let's talk about sound quality. And I think as always, a big part of this is subjective. It comes down to the ear of the beholder, uh, but to the ear of this beholder, they sound incredible. So firstly, I started with some games and immediately you can hear pin sharp detail. The soundstage is wide, these easily fill my studio and living room. As I say, they can get ridiculously loud, but even at lower volumes, you can feel the bass enough that I probably wouldn't bother with a separate sub, and it's a controlled kind of bass without that distracting boominess. Dialogue and soundtracks are crisp and clear, and the power on offer brings you right into the action. And crucially, there wasn't any distortion or syncing issues. Likewise with music, and here I'm playing some stuff from Epidemic Sound and Artlist, which is where I get my music for my videos, the sound is well balanced, and I didn't feel like I was Will missing out on any detail. Head down, carry on, cause what else can we do? And actually, I couldn't really hear much of a difference between the wired versus wireless mode, but you might if you have a keen ear. So, what do we think of the new Kef LSX2s? Would you be tempted to pick up a pair of these? For 1200 quid, they're not cheap, but they are also very good. They're not going to be ideal for every setup, as I say, for a home cinema, while these actually do give me a noticeably richer and more vibrant sound than even my Sonos Arc setup, which I love as well. The benefit of that is we do have the eARC and the Atmos and the DTSX, some of the tech that can make movies sound more immersive. But from a pure audio point of view, these blew the Arc out of the water, which I'm now getting is quite a strong metaphor. <laughs> but as music or editing or desk speakers, they're top notch and I think they look great as well. So as I say, if you do fancy picking up a pair of these or just finding out more or have a play with their very cool website, I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Let me know what you make of these in the comments below and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.